Hello, my dog lovers. I'm here today to introduce you to a safer restraint for your dog. Now, I know that most of you have been using collars um, and collars, unfortunately, are not ideal for your dog. Now, I know that you probably don't know, so don't blame yourself for not knowing. But today, I'd like to explain why collars are not ideal. Now, collars are good for one thing. They're good for your dog's ID to make sure that if someone finds him or if your dog gets lost that there's gonna be a phone number on it. Otherwise collars actually are not ideal because they pull on the neck and neck uh, has uh, many different structures and functions that may get affected by the collar. Now if your dog pulls the thyroid gland is right here and it can get traumatized and injured and that may lead to hypothyroidism and you know that many large dogs that pull actually are hypothyroid. And in the past, we thought that it was genetic. However, this is related to the trauma of the thyroid gland. Second, um, there are blood vessels and nerves going through the neck that affect the whole body and also the front legs. If your dog licks his paws or if he or she has shoulder lameness, that may be because of a collar injury as well. The neck is also an area where the vagal nerve originates. The vagal nerve supplies and regulates all the internal organs. So the neck is super vital to your dog's healthy organs. It took me almost 10 years to find the right harness. Some harnesses uh, put pressure on the neck again, especially when they're attached in the back. Some harnesses don't fit well, dogs have different bodies, and that's really difficult to, to fit. Now, this particular harness is made of three pieces. The first piece is in the shape of H, and it's on the back of, of your dog. The second piece is in the shape of Y, and that is in the front. And then there's the girth piece, which is a simple I. Now I'm going to show you how it's used. It has the front attachment, which is really important because if your dog pulls, and I'm just gonna pull because Pax is perfect, he never pulls, just kidding. It doesn't tug on the, on the neck of your dog. So that's super important. There's another anchor and that's in the back. And you can use either two leashes or a Y leash that is attached in the front and in the back. And that's how this harness is made. Or you can thread the leash through in this way. So if you, okay, Pucks, you're very good. Let's turn around a little bit more. Okay, this way. He wants to face you. He, he thinks that it's unpolite if he doesn't face you. Anyway, so if your dog pulls, you can actually control him very well. The other thing that I wanted to introduce you to is this leash. We call it gentle leash and it's handmade in Canada. It's not made in China. It's made of sustainable materials, wool. It's fully recyclable. Your dog can break it unless he or she chews on it, which is another story, but you know, prevent your dog from chewing on it. It is super strong, but also springy. So if there is any pull, it absorbs the shocks and it protects your dog's body. It also protects your shoulder because if your dog pulls and you really tug badly, then you can get injured. I found it um, on uh, an island nearby Vancouver when I was traveling and I'm very excited. Thanks to Don McKechnie, the person who's been making these leashes and you can get one on our website. Good health starts with a good harness and a leash and I'm very grateful for you considering this harness or at least another harness and a leash that absorbs shocks and protects your dog. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions you can always contact us through our website.